Hey there, Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, here with Tracy Koenigsbauer, who is a real estate broker with KW Realty. Um, Keller Williams, I say KW, it's Keller Williams. <laughs> that with you this morning to share a little bit about, I'm sure there's so many things people are focused on. And one of the things I hear a lot is talking about real estate. So first off, I want to hear you talk about, you know, tell us a little bit about your background and kind of how you came about being in this industry, what your passion is. And then I want to chat industry trends in Denver. Tell us a little bit about you. Sure. So I'm Tracy Koenigsbauer and really great job on the pronunciation. People butcher my last name usually. <laughs> so Tracy K is also fine. Um, I work for KW, Keller Williams Integrity. Um, I have 15 years of marketing, sales, public relations, and a grassroots outreach. And I recently transitioned to real estate, something I've always wanted to do. Um, my passion really is working with veterans. I've worked with veterans for the past 10 years, for about a decade now. Um, so I, that's really my passion in helping veterans kind of navigate that VA loan process, which can be somewhat complicated. Um, so, and also small businesses, particularly during all of this nonsense of 2020, um, my focus has also been helping small business owners as well and offering different rebate programs to, to those who own small businesses and are looking to either buy or sell their homes. Nice. Those are really good specialties, especially um, the VA. I know I have a lot of family that was um, past and present military. And so it's one of those things that I'm sure is very valuable for them. Yes, absolutely. And it, it can be complicated, so it, it shouldn't be. But um, having someone who can kind of streamline that process and guide them through it. Um, I work with a, a lender who's also very specialized in VA loans as well. So it's kind of a two for one deal with her and I to have someone who can really work on their behalf. Perfect. So we've been out looking in the market for my mother-in-law and it's a cra it's crazy pants out there. The minute she sees something she's interested in, it's already gone. <laughs> and then all that's left is like a hundred thousand dollars more than, you know, than she wants to pay. And so mm -hmm. I'm curious what you're seeing in the market why does it look like this right now? And kind of what is what are the tips that you're sharing with clients on how to position themselves and think about things when they are looking for a home? Yeah, so the median home price just hit 510,000 in Denver, which is crazy. Um, and it's still a super hot market. So yeah, I mean, if you're going out to look at a home, particularly something that's a single family home, um, which are more popular these days because I think people want the space. I think before people wanted to have that downtown condo type living and now that you don't go downtown as much and you're not going to an office, the demand for a single family home with a yard and sp outdoor space just in case we need to be inside again for extended periods of time, um, the demand for those single family homes has been through the roof and it's it's still hot i mean there's there's more you know there's more there aren't as many homes on the market for each buyer so there's this it's still a seller's market um things are going like you said in 24 hours you go look and by the time you get home you know there's five six offers and it's already off the market or someone pays in cash so it's definitely still a super super hot market in that um Part of that is because of the interest rates are so low, um, they have reached historical lows um, below 3%, which is, I don't think ever happened. Um, so people just wanna buy, and then people are also refinancing homes as well. Um, so one of the lenders I work with, she's just swamped with, <laughs> with refinancing, because um, people wanna get those really good rates before, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen with the election, we don't know what's gonna happen this winter with the vaccine, with, COVID if we have to shut down again. So there's so many uncertainties. So I think a lot of people are trying to make that change before, <laughs> before, you know, before the unknown period of time this yeah. winter. Yeah. I remember working in the financial industry for a brief time and everything we, we talked about was like people, when things were really great, people were swarming us um, because you just, you never know, no matter what's going on, you just never know if, things are going to stay that way. You know, rates are always fluctuating. So it's like, we did the same thing. We're like, okay. 
Sure. That we refinanced our home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lower payment, fine. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and then also, I mean, yeah, with the unknowns, just people losing their jobs and you don't know what's going to happen. You want to lower that payment. So, I mean, yeah. I took, we took advantage of it for sure. I mean, why not? <laughs> it might never happen again with rates that low. <laughs> Wonderful. So if anybody's interested in getting in touch with you, following along to see what tips you share, things like that, or wants to buy a home, how can they get in touch? Um, they can either give me a call or shoot me an email. Um, my email's pretty long. I don't know if you want me to spell it out here or put it in Whatever the Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want yeah. me to share, I will add it to the notes on the post. Sounds good. Yeah, it's tracy.koenigsbauer at kw.com. Perfect. Well, I will share that along as I post this to social media. And thanks so much for sharing a little bit about your background and talking with me about the crazy pants real estate market in Denver right now. Yeah. Mix your head spin a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Thanks, Crystal.